Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Have you ever tried to get stuck on a loading screen forever? Have you ever tried to have your vehicles drive around in circles? Have you ever tried to have your buildings just disappear out into the thin air? Well I have, just before I began to use multiple mods folders. Hello fellow farmers, welcome to another episode here on the tech tips and tricks for Farming Simulator 19. This video, how to use multiple mods folders, is for you that either plays on maps that are not in-game, that will say other than Estancio, Lepajo, Ravenport or Felsbrunn. It is for you that play on different maps at the same time, it could be small, medium and big farming, production and even uh, construction maps. Or if you play with many 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 mods, and my personal opinion, when is many, well that is above 50. Now I play on many different maps at least five different per week and two for my let's plays and average on two more with Nick the Hicks crew where we do weekly let's plays testing and competitions then I got my own test map for conflict hunting and also the map I have on my FS19 dedicated server that requires an insane amount of structure planning but uh, it saves a lot of time frustrations and possibly even tears when uh, when you do it like this. So my structured approach helps me to uh, first of all avoid clutter in my FS19 game mods folder. I only use the mods I have to on uh, that particular map I play on. And two, I avoid the term that is called bleeding and uh, that exists if you have multiple maps in the same mod folder. It's just a fact in FS19. It happens from time to time when putting several maps in the same folder and it's not really possible to predict what map affects uh, another map but it will give you unpredictable errors and it often makes your game to crash so in order to avoid this term bleeding it is highly recommended to keep your maps in separate folders and three avoid the game to load up all the mods you have in your games folder if you got 200 mods in your folder and only use 100 of them, then of course you untick them in the overview when you start up the game, right? Well, guess what? The mods will still be loaded into the game anyways, and that will affect your virtual memory uh, that is dedicated to play the game. And hence it will cause your game to crash, it will cause your game to stall, or even give you performance issues at any point of given time. Um, most likely when it's not supposed to be happening, right? <laughs> There are several ways to be using this multiple folder approach and the first one I have came across is that you put all your different mods folders that you have in your FS19 games folder then you give them a, a some kind of a prefix and then some underscore and then the mods so if you want to use that specific folder you just rename it to just mods and then the game will use that due to settings in the game settings file now let me show you this is how it normally looks we have the folder here mods and that's where the game is going to look for possible mods you have installed if we start a farming simulator it will only show us the uh, installed dlcs and then ravenport and um felsbrun right if i want to play for example or what i call my test map i just rename them just map and test because that name will just pop up near the mods uh, folder because I have sorted them uh, in alphabetically you can give them any name you want but I just like them to be next to each other so I call the map server for the uh, mods I use on my server and then I used the mods that I use on my test map now this is currently only consists of one quad track I've been testing I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna take in another folder I have separately for every mod I use for testing. Just gonna copy that over in that folder. There we go. Just like that. So now I know this this folder consists only on my test map and 
the map server is also empty because I'm setting everything up just right now. And uh, we don't want to be using this. We want to be using this test map here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the original uh, mod folder here. Call it original. And I can always find it. Then we're going to rename it back. And then we're going to change this to mods. And then farming simulator will take this, mod, uh, this folder and uh, show you the mods when we open it up. So let's try that. Take a new save game. Just new farmer, that will be fine. And we can see there's three maps present. We got the flat map here, my test map. And here's all the uh, the mods, all the DLCs and all the mods we have installed. Strong farmer, all the good kind of stuff that I'm using for testing, for testing purposes. And we can just load it up. So that's one way to do it. Now another way to change the settings is in the game file settings itself. And I'm not really fond of that because sooner or later you might do some changes that you're not aware of uh, and then you screw things up. And uh, where exactly was that backup file again? It's handy if you uh, are technical and you know what you're doing. So again we have uh, the map server mods folder, the map test mods folder and we got the in-game mods folder here. Now we're going to open up the game settings XML file just using notepad++, notepad will do as well. And we're looking for the first line up here that it says mods directory override. It's set to false. So at any point of given time now, the uh, game is going to look for the folder that's called mods. Now if you wanted to specifically go into look for the test map mods here, well, you're going to have to use the, uh, you're going to use the path up here, and then you're going to copy that, f that path in between the brackets here, something like that. And then you can save it, and then it, oh, you have to change this to true. And then you save the file, and then it will go to look directly for that particular folder. But then again, if you need to change it around, you have to open up the game file, and you have to change that again if you needed to look for another folder. And that's why I, I like to do it just more manually, just change the name of the folder instead. Um, but this is this is uh, another way to do it. So let's quickly close this down and don't save anything. And uh, the third method is uh, some mod manager programs or scripts that you can use. Uh, there's a few out there, and I've tried some of them. Some of them you need to pay for, and uh, personally, I do not really find them easier to use or better to use than my homemade approach. But it's all a personal opinion. Um, if you go search for on YouTube for Mod Manager for FS19, there are quite a few videos that will take you through uh, through the process and offer you some help around setting that up. I'm not going to go through that because that's not really something for me. I like to do this uh, the old-fashioned manual way, um, more in control of what what happens. Uh, but again, personal opinion. So as I said, what works perfectly for me may not work for you, but my goal is just to give you some inspiration on how you can use multiple folders in FS19, how to lower your mod clutter, and how to lower the chance of mod conflicts uh, and game crashes, and also to track, be able to track down uh, possible mod conflicts much, much better. So how do I do this? Well, hang tight, hang on. I have a little process here I'm going to walk you through. Um, I hope I can make it as clear as possible, but please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below, then I will most certainly answer. Well, let's just pretend we're going to start on a brand new map. Just any map. Doesn't matter. And first of all, I make sure that uh, my FS19 All Mods is sorted out. So I've uh, created subfolders in my FS19 All Mods, just the uh, same name as we got in-game. We got the cotton technology, the crop protection, we got front loaders mounted, we got harrows, we got low loaders, all the good stuff. Because then I know exactly where things are. Then we got a folder for packs and unzips, as I call it. And we got some for add-on and DLCs and whatnot. So everything has its place. So when I go look for exciting new mods, I use these five links. Uh, normally I go to fs19.net, Papa Smurf Modding US, Mudhub US, 
even farming simulator's own mod hub or lsmodcompany.com those are the five places is my go-to uh, secured mods i haven't experienced any uh, malware uh, connected with this so uh, you can find a lot of that out there but these ones should be should be uh, malware free and also very very good mods that's that works so when i found some mods that i want to uh, to add to my collection then i just put them into my fs19 all folder then i put them into my fs19 all mods folder and not in any of the subfolders just in the main folder so they're placed just below here then i know exactly what i've been looking for and uh, i can see i want to focus on these ones now I make sure that the farming simulator 19 mods is then empty and that requires we go back into the uh, go back into the mods folder which is totally empty and then I just want to have those files that I just found I've downloaded from the various sites I put them in my FS19 mods folder now the reason that I'm using the, this flat map is because it contains absolutely nothing. Well, it got a few buildings, it got a shop, and it got an animal uh, buying place, uh, and, and a single shed, uh, and that's about it. So nothing should really interfere. So the idea is that if these mods do not work on this flat map, then they surely will not work on any other map, right? So here we got seven mods in our Farming Simulator 19 mods folder. And now we can just start up the game. So I start up my game with a brand new save game. New farmer, doesn't really matter. Go to my test map. And then I hit the tilde key, the key just above your tap. It's going to show you the log on the fly. And then we hit continue and continue again. We're going to select all the mods. Going to start it up. And then we can see what is being locked from the game. And we shall have the lookout for warnings and errors. And I didn't really see anything that gave concern. I think there was one thing I found something. Just saw that. Yep, I found one warning. And that's something to do about the multi-cheat icon PNG says it's a raw format does not really affect the gameplay whatsoever uh, in any kind shape or form what you want to look out for is the errors uh, if it says error then we got some issues then we got some problems and that mod should definitely be moved out of the mods folder but here there's just one warning and I think that will do so everything's fine tickety boo those uh, mods I just found there is uh, ready to go so as we saw, all the mods work on the flat map, and uh, they've been copied over. So now we don't need that anymore. But we need a new map. So let's pretend we have been out looking for a map, and know exactly the map I want to look at. Now I'm just stumbled across a map that's called Old County Life by Cas64. I really want to look into that, and I really want those mods we just found. I want them to work in that map. So. First of all, we're going to remove the flat map, so we only got one map per folder, right? So we should avoid any conflicts there. So now we just load up FS19 again with the new map and check the log for potential warning and errors. New save game, continue, there we go, the old country life, continue there, continue. And we're going to make sure all the mods are marked, they are. And then we're going to start. And uh, really see here, we see again the warning. That's the multi-cheat icon. That's okay. And we can start looking in if we're going to find something. I'm going to check the lock. And doesn't really seem to be anything. Loading the sounds that we can hear. <laughs> Toot. So if you are in doubt that you did see something, I think I did. Yep, we got a warning here. It says configurations are not present. 
anymore, ignoring configuration viable DPS. Um, yeah, it's not something will the game play again. It's just a warning that a particular tractor does not have uh, configuration or DPS. So that's fine. Nothing game breaking. We can just click start. And then we know those mods we just found gave no cause to errors. Now we have a message pop up here that says the uh, old county life need global company version 1.0 oh, 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 or greater to get this map to uh, mod to operate. So we just need to go to uh, get that one if we want to continue with no errors. That's all fine. But those mods that we were looking at, they are working. So then we just need to go out and find some global company if we want to continue. Now back into the uh, farming simulator mods folder, then we know this is the mods we want to play with on Old County Life. We can apprehend it to OCL, and we're just going to rename it as uh, we saw before. Uh, make a new map, make a new folder, call it Old County Life underscore mods. There we go. It's right there. And then we're gonna go to the mods folder where we had this. We could just, just rename the uh, the folder here. I'm gonna remove them. I just like to do it this way. There we go. So all the mods we know the working is in this folder. And we got this folder. The original farming simulator 19 mods folder is just empty. So every time I want to play on the old county life mods, I wanna use them in the game. I just rename this to mods and rename, rename this to original mods and then we're good to go. So that's the way I do it. Now there will always be potential for game errors and game crashes but by doing this you have uh, you have a great start and uh, you already have the mods sorted out uh, that you know could ruin your gameplay. It's just finding 20 mods, shove them in the mods folder and just start up the game and then you have a crash it's just hmm which of the mods were actually causing errors and the uh, is it the is the is the map is the map that's causing the errors or is the mods it may not be the map but it may be the mod um but then again use your log to uh, to look into it and of course if you ever in doubt where your log is the log you'll find in the farming simulator 19 uh, folder and you can just re-click it and it's gonna show us the exact same information that we saw in the uh, load up of the game and you just look for warning and errors again so if you want to try multiple mods folders then uh, i hope this uh, helped you a little bit on the way um, it might seem a little uh, intimidating at first and just oh, that's a lot of work but i can promise you you will be happy about it um, and most likely experience le less clutter, mud clutter and less mud conflicts, less game crashes and even a better game performance. So overall a much better gaming experience with your farming. So until next time, please take care, stay safe and be cool. Bye!